of the major emphasis right now for us is dining in every level of our organization. Residents today believe that dining is a very important element of their lives because it really ties into their overall health and wellness. Well, first of all, we want to make sure that the residents have a lot of input in the selection of our menus. So we have different dining committees, one on each campus, that allows us to talk to the residents to see what they like, what they don't like. But our program involves uh, making sure that our menu items, whether they're posted at the venue or they're posted online, has what we call our Healthy H logo for all of our healthy items. It helps the residents select more of a healthy diet. Our Seasons Dining Room on the uh, Havenwood campus is a 94-seat restaurant-style uh, dining operation which has wait-to-waitress service. It serves meals three times a day. It's an excellent environment for people to go in, sit down, and relax. But we also have other venues, too, if they don't want that specific time frame. We have the Main Street Cafe, which is also on the Havenwood campus, which allows people to come and go freely over a period of time so they can get the foods that they want. Some of the innovative things that we have done is with our assisted living program in the lodge area at Havenwood, we have created a separate dining area that has all the food served right there. It's not on a tray. People can come up, see what they like. And we actually played it out for them right there so they can have their choices. It's really innovative, so much so that we're looking to create those types of environments in our health service and our skilled nursing facility. I think there are definitely nuts and bolts to dining and you can just have food and produce food. I think we're more than that. We have award-winning chefs who work at Havenwood Heritage Heights. And one of the things that's really important is to have those chefs come out from behind the main kitchen and be out among the residents because they want to see how they're doing. How is that great food that I prepared for you today? How did you enjoy it? And what can we learn from that? I think the chefs do want to make sure their food is really being enjoyed because food is a critical satisfier for our residents. We have brought on an executive chef, Jason Seavey. He has added so much to our dining program with menu development, with the teaching of our cooking staff. One of the things that struck me is he said he was so surprised at the quality of the food that we get. He thought he was coming to a, quote, nursing home, and he was coming to a retirement community that spares no expense. This is the best job I've ever had. The quality of life is incredible for, from the employer and from the residents who feel like you have a purpose. We're now in our ninth year of doing our bistro dinners. Our bistro dinners are a once a month dinner that the chef is able to create a great four course meal and by creating this four course meal he can use some of his creativeness and to do this once a month it's a way for us to show our residents that the quality of food doesn't just uh, end at that bistro dinner it goes through all the food that we serve to all of our different residents at no matter what level of care they're in. Mm -hmm.